So today we are gonna try the dog hide and slide. I just picked this up at PetSmart. And essentially what you do is you put treats in these different pockets here and you can slide them back and forth so the dog has to move these pieces out of the way to try to find the treats. So we're gonna put Haga's intelligence to the test and see how he does with this. Hi bud. He knows I'm up to something. Break. All right, he's got one. That's the last one. Well, I would say that was definitely too easy. So I guess next time we're gonna have to get a more difficult game. Okay, so I found this intelligence test online and I'll put a link um, to our website where I'll post this so you can try it too. And it's actually scored. So obviously that puzzle was way too easy for Haga. Uh, so this has a few different tests. So test number one, put a blanket or towel on your Akita's head and time how long it takes them to get out. Three points if they figure it out in less than 15 seconds, two points if they get it in less than 30 seconds, and one point if it takes them over 30 seconds. So let's give this a try. Haga, sit. Oh boy. Ready? Okay, test number two. Hold the treat in an open palm and then put both of your hands behind your back. From there, switch the hand the treat is in. Bring your hands in front of you again and present your Akita to closed fists. See it? Okay. Aw, oh, you didn't get that one right. There you go. Good boy, two points for you. Okay, this next one is kind of similar. We're gonna put a treat under a cup, and there'll be three cups. Job. Okay, this next test is a little goofy because it's kind of ambiguous. And so the test is to grab your dog's leash and see if they understand what's happening, like that you're gonna go for a W-A-L-K. So I don't know about this one, but we'll see. Thank you, Nose. Okay, so this last one's gonna be a little tricky because it wants me to put a treat under a piece of furniture that uh, the dog can only get their paw under. And so, I don't know if we have anything that really fits that description. It scored three points if it takes less than a minute to get the snack, two points if they uh, try to put their head under first and realize that they can't, and then one point if they give up entirely. So let's give it a try. Sit. So he's getting two points for that. He did get it, but he went with the nose and head first. So not bad. Okay, according to this test, if your Akita gets a 12 or higher, they are a genius and Haga scored about 12 points, maybe 12 and a half. Some of them were kind of hard to score and I think that last test was more on me that I didn't really put the treat in a, a good spot. But anyway, on a more serious note, are Akitas intelligent? Are they a smart breed? I would say in general, yes. So there was actually someone who has looked at the intelligence of different breeds and ranked them. In 1995, a researcher named Stanley Korn actually did a test 
test to see which breed is the smartest. Out of the 130 dogs that he tested, he found that Border Collies were the number one most intelligent breed, and that probably won't surprise anybody. They're known for being really smart, very easy to train, and the depth of their training can go really far. And some uh, Border Collies have been known to be able to memorize up to 250 commands, which is just insane. So the Akita, where did it end up on his list? Well, it ended up in a respectable 54th place, and it was right uh, tied with the Boston Terrier, actually, which is kind of funny considering how different the Akita is from a Boston Terrier. Now, while this research is really cool, there were two breeds in the top five that I thought were a little strange in Corin's list, which were the Golden Retriever and the Labrador. Now, both of these dogs are known to be very trainable, but we also think of these dogs as kind of like dumb in a cute way. So what's the deal? Well, I think when we think of dog intelligence, we often treat it as like the more trainable a dog is, the smarter they are. But there are different types of intelligence for people, and I think the same thing is true for dogs as well. So think of it this way. Akitas are really well known for being independent and aloof, sometimes standoffish, and they won't do things unless they see a good reason for doing them, which is why they're known not to be great dogs if you like to play fetch. So I think the Kita probably would have ranked higher if the researchers had looked at things other than just strictly obedience. These dogs are obviously decent problem solvers. I've seen Akitas that are able to open doors. They're very emotionally intelligent. They know when their owners are in distress or not feeling well or need to be protected. So I think that, you know, if we looked at things other than just obedience, Akitas would probably rank higher on the list, but 54th out of 130 different breeds is pretty good. Do you think your Akita is smart? Tell me one thing that makes you think your Akita is smarter than other dogs. Post in the comments below. I'd love to hear.